on Thursday, the 16th of April. Um, it's a real privilege to, to welcome you here. Just realised the remote controls are there. Just been watching uh, uh, the, the Captain Tom Moore walking his uh, 100 laps around the, his garden. Uh, a little bit bigger than my garden, so what, what an effort he's made over the last few days and, and raising so much money, which is going to go to so many uh, good causes. It's a real sign of um, goodness, and we've had plenty of signs of goodness uh, in the world around us over these last few weeks. I hope you're well. Um, I hope that uh, you're keeping safe and enjoying, again, the, the sunshine. It's going to be chilly this morning. Um, but uh, the sun is shining and it promises to be uh, a wonderful day. So um, welcome. Um, the liturgy I have just put onto Facebook, it's a usual morning prayer liturgy. And then we'll be, we'll be saying the blessings across our parishes and across our nation, uh, in our town and our nation. And indeed, our world and God's world over um, uh, in, in a bit. So. Um, as we recognise, once again, we come together, uh, albeit online, you may be with uh, uh, some loved ones at the moment as well, so we'll, we're gathering together, but we're gathering together in Jesus' name, our risen Saviour. Let's have a moment of quiet as we recognise that. Christ is, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your, your our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Lord. God, may you be praise and glory forever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Psalm 114, Psalm 114, starts with this refrain. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of, of a strange tongue, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea saw that and fled. Jordan was driven back. 
The mountains skipped like rams, the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you were driven back? You mountains that, that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, that you skip. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob who turns the hard rock into pools of water, the flint stone into a springing well. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord. Strike the rock of our hard hearts, O God, and let our tears of joy and sorrow mould us to bear the imprint of your love, given in Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We now have the song of Moses and Miriam. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The house and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears who I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will guide them to your holy dwelling. You bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. We continue to read from Paul's letter to the first letter to the so 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning to read at verse 29. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 29. Otherwise, what will those people who what will those people do who receive baptism on behalf of the dead? If the dead are not raised at all, why are people baptized on their behalf? And why are we putting ourselves in danger every hour? I die every day. That is that is as certain, brothers and sisters, as my boasting to you. A boast that I make in Christ Jesus our Lord. If with merely human hopes I fought with wild animals at Ephesus, what would I have gained by it if the dead are not raised? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Come to a sober and right mind and sin no more, for some people have no knowledge of God. I say, this to you, to your shame. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just to point out that let and dream tomorrow we die are in quotation marks. So he's he's not advocating that to them. He is um, warning them against it. So um, he's, uh, he's probably thrown back which they are saying, um, throwing back something which um, they have been perhaps deceived with and deceiving each other with. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? 
We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Now going to, if you've got it in front of you, please do feel free to join in. We're going to say the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from all the hands that, that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation from the, for the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Now I'm going to say the blessings to one another. It takes me a little while to find them on my Kindle. A little bit, a little bit of the way down there. Order. Let's see if I can find it. I wonder if it's that. No. That's the notice sheet. Give me for this. Last week when I tried to find I open a tax return form, that definitely wasn't the right one. It's not that. It's just about to open the tax return form again. It's there. So we say these every Thursday, as I'm sure you're aware. We come together to pray for our nation to pray for our town and to pray for our parishes, pray for our neighbours. We off, we want to pray those blessings that we have received upon them too. So Heavenly Father, we take upon ourselves the authority Jesus delegated to us and in his mighty name, we speak to every household within our parishes. We bless you in the name of the Lord, we bless your marriages and relationships that they may be strong and whole. We bless the relationship between each partner that it may be loving, forgiving, merciful and strong. We bless every intergenerational relationship within each household that there may be peace and love and understanding flowing between each one. In Jesus' name, we bless every network of wholesome and supportive friendship. We bless your health, that you may be strong and well. In Jesus' name, we resist any sickness or disease which seeks to invade these communities. And to every person we say, be well, be strong, be healthy. To any who are sick right now, we say we bless you in Jesus' name for a speedy recovery. And you might just like to hold on your hearts those whom you are praying for at this moment. For those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. For the sick, the anxious and the lonely.
We bless those who are in the autumn of their lives and all those who live and work in residential care, that they may know the peace and presence of God in their hearts. And in Jesus' name, we pray that they have assurance and hope for the future. We speak blessings of patience, courage, wisdom, protection and love to all carers and associated staff. We bless the wealth of every person in our communities, that they may have plenty to replace poverty. We bless you to have enough to live and enough to give. We bless the work of your hands that whatever you turn your hand to, which is wholesome, may be profitable. And we bless every wholesome enterprise that's conducted by you, that it may prosper and be successful. And we pray for those who are anxious about their work and about where their money may come from at this time. We pray that the anxiety will ease and that they will feel blessings. In Jesus' name, we bless the businesses operating within our bounds, that they will flourish and employee-employer relationships will be wholesome, fair and full of integrity. We bless our local preschools and schools, that they may be secure and safe for teachers and pupils alike. We bless the children's capacity to learn and develop relationships. We bless the governors and all the staff that they will know that they can put their trust and that they can trust and flourish if they put their faith in the Lord Jesus. We pray your blessing on all contact the church has with them in Jesus' name. We bless the local doctors, nurses, district nurses, pharmacists, carers, all the staff of Sandalwood Court, all healthcare workers, wherever they may be, all those backup workers in the NHS, all those people that are keeping so many of us safe and so many of us well at this time and are fighting um, illness right on the front line on our behalf. We pray for them as they minister to people that they may have wisdom, gentleness and understanding for their patients. We pray for the emergency services as they operate within our bands that they will be blessed with safety, protection and wisdom. We bless all those working in the emergency services within our parish and within our town and across our country at this time. We pray that they will have protection, that they will have uh, that courage and energy needed. We pray, dear Father, for the local parish councils, borough councils, all in authority and we pray for our government and governments around the world that they will be blessed as they serve their communities that they may be guided with wisdom as they seek the best for for all of us and look towards the future with wisdom and courage we pray dear father for all of those key workers so many that we rely on so many working in so many different areas so many, dear Father, who are keeping things going, offering us protection, offering us the things, keeping us fed. We thank you for them, Lord, and we pray for them this day. And we speak to all the Christians in our communities. And we say, we bless you in the name of the Lord that the Holy Spirit and the word of God will flow out from you in power. We bless the hearts of all who live here, that you may be quickened to hear and respond to the voice of the living God. And we bless all who live and work here, that the overspill of blessings and the presence of the kingdom of God may fall upon you. In a moment of quiet, you might like to lift before God those whom are on your hearts, those for whom, those whom you love, those whom you cherish and treasure.
Lord, we thank you for our friends and our family, though we may be far apart, though we may be distant. We pray, dear Father, that we thank you, Lord, for them, and we pray for them this day. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. May the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Help us to be a blessing to each other and our communities that your ways may be known among us. Let all the people praise you, O oh God. Let all the people praise you. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining me and thank you for joining all together today. It is, uh, I keep saying this, it's great to be able to do this. And um, I do look forward to being back together when we can sing hymns together. Um, we can sing hymns from the first part of Mission Praise and sing hymns from the second part of Mission Praise. And we might even sing some hymns that are not even in the book. Um, it will be a, a great day. And hopefully as they start to think about, I think we'll get an announcement probably today about the extension of the lockdown, which is, which is needed. Uh, we need to adhere to that. So we're still in this for a bit. Um, but but hopefully when as they relax things we might be able to kind of get back together and I, and I really do long for that day and I think that the those old church buildings in that wonderful community centre will be filled with songs of praise and uh, hymns of rejoicing and I think we'll be singing just a few decibels higher uh, than we have ever done before um, and with smiles on our faces I look forward to that day and we pray for that day and uh, it will come. It will come. So God bless you today. Enjoy the sunshine and uh, stay safe and stay well. God bless. <laughs>